Ready? All right, let's do roll call. Mr. Maroli? Here. Mr. Knapp? Here. Mr. Tolmer? Here. Mr. Lennon? Mr. Livingston? Here. And I'm Joe Cower. All right, so no one signed up for public comments, correct? Are you making the public comments? I didn't say that. I was trying to give you the slip before I never <laughs> You want it or leave it for Paul? No, you're fine. There's no one on it. So. Okay. What is the blueprint's back? I don't know. They're okay. from the council. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions, comments, corrections in regards to the adoption of the minutes? All right. Make a motion. We accept. I need a second. I'll second that. All right. Motion passes. Uh, okay. Now getting into the new business, number one is first the active transportation plan. And uh, when I really looked, dug a little bit deeper into what the actual purpose of the um, active, uh, active transportation plan was, I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> anyway, so what I just want to put on the record that the grant is approved. Original did receive $22,000 for funding to do the active transportation plan. Um, the money is available from Allegheny County and it's provided to communities so that they can improve pedestrian and bicycle connections to local destinations and improve physical activities and safety, which was for me in the interviews, that was an important aspect of uh, this plan. Um, and at our last meeting in May, we decided as a commission to move the Allegheny for active transportation plan forward and let the uh, comprehensive plan be continued to be worked on. Um, updates is that on June 2nd, June 16th, we interviewed four different companies that applied for the, um, responded to the RFP. Dale was on Zoom. I attended council members. There was uh, uh, Bill Henderson, Joe Calissimo, and Nick for council. Uh, Joe was there also leading the group. Well, all firms adequately answered our questions. To me, one firm stood out and was asked to provide additional information and respond to the questions that the code committee needed. At this point, Joe, uh, do you want to add to that? No, no? I think I need that real. Okay, all right. Um, now, the question that I have, now, we did do a survey for which was our first, second, third, and fourth selection. The question that I have for commissioners is, um, do you want to provide your ranking of the companies? I'll take I'll, I'll uh, take your recommendation. Okay. And we was going to was get the co-commission to provide the answer to the question? I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, All right. I, I'm fine with, with um, the discussion and stuff by the Code Commission. Okay. Recommendation. So, at this time, if I'm not mistaken, it is going to be traffic planning and design that will move forward to the council, correct? That was the working group's recommendation. Okay. All right. Now, um, so since we're moving that on to council, do I need to take a vote? Probably best. Okay. All right. Okay. So, what I need a motion to approve moving the recommendation of traffic planning and design on to the council. Can I have a motion? So moved. All right. Second. I'll second. Okay. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes. Now. In regards to the comprehensive plan, the summary that I decided on was the decision of what companies to interview and how many to interview had been pushed back a month. All right, And in that time, because if we're pushing it back a month, are we looking at an August, September selection?
action will, will, will this go to? I think well, the way we're doing it is that we're not going to award contract until we hear what the grants were or okay. not. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. But I think if we could come to a conclusion of who the recommendation would be to council, uh, I think that's okay. what and one thing. When do you want it before council? Then? I think we have that August, September, the latest. Okay, good. All right. So we've got a, we've got a chance potentially to, to still have multiple firms come and do their presentation. Yes. Right? Okay. Absolutely. August, September, recommendation to council is in progress. Okay. Because that's looking like what I was told by the state is when they will make their grant. Okay. okay. All right. Um, all right. So also, too, we decided last month to work on a questionnaire to send to the uh, company so that they could review uh, and provide Bridgeville with additional information. And I honestly think that part of the purpose was so that we can, familiar, we can determine how familiar they are with Bridgeville. Are they just responding to questions or are they really uh, invested somewhat in Bridgeville? Um, so, Tim was kind enough to do the questionnaires, all right, and I actually did his data magic. <laughs> <laughs> we over it, but I hope it's helpful. Data is data, and that's data. All right, so after that, um, we did get the responses from the um, companies, the six companies. We took a look at those six, the answers to those questions, those nine questions, and then graded on a scale of one to what, five, one, six, six, um, what we felt, uh, how they responded. And I think some really did show a vested, somewhat a vested interest in Bridgeville more so than others. Okay, so our goal this evening as I understand it, is to narrow this down so that instead of doing six interviews, we're going to narrow it down to three or four, correct? Perfect. Okay. So, Tim. Yeah. You're up. Okay. So, I will share my screen. So just for purposes of eyes wide open, here's the raw spreadsheet so you guys know where this stuff came from and it wasn't, wasn't just fabricated into PowerPoint. I took all the scores from each of the respondents, which was the planning commission here, plus Joe uh, minus Larry Lennon. Netted all those out, did just a couple of simple tables that I'll show you in a, in a cleaner view here. Um, so don't spend too much time on this. this is, uh, what we often call an eye chart of sorts, but again, just a replication of the raw data. Way things shook out are here, so you see the breakdown by score, individual score, and then the red across the top is the ranked one through six. Uh, so Evolve rose to the top, followed by Claiborne, Mackin number three, HRG fourth, Fanoni number five, and EPD number six. And we can come back to these if stare at them and get into some good discussion but just so we have a feel for you can kind of find yourself on this view right to, to figure out where your individual scores ranked against the overall group aggregated scores and see if there's any outliers there are a couple um, almost universally EPD scored fairly low on everybody's Dale not calling you out just the outlier that was your number one so there might be some good discussion to have there um, across the board, the rest of them, one and two between Evolve and Clavon jumped up to the top for almost everybody. We're going to have to have some discussion in that middle kind of next tier. HRG, Mac, and Pannoni, what do we want to do with those? Um, again, Dale, pending your, your input there, what I'd like to do just by way of, of simple exercise for today is kind of disposition each one of these and say these are moving on to the next round or, or these are not. Um, usually the easiest way to start this would be to take your top one if we all agree that Evolve should be in the included. And usually the bottom one would be tossed out as well. But I want to pause and give, give Dale some input there if there's any discussion that we had on EPD. No, I, I thought I thought some of the answers by like EPD in response to the question um, 
hit the mark a little bit more than some of the others. Um, but you know, I, I did I did the questionnaire kind of separate from the RFPs. Because and I just wanted to just try to go through and do that. Yep. You know, are they answering the question? Are they providing more information? Are they not? And I was surprised when I got done with this that it didn't match my ranking of the RFPs at all. Mm -hmm. right. I had to say it too. And, and it was just like, uh, it is what it is. That happened for me as well. So great. It happened to me too. So now, everybody, did everybody initially rank the proposals based upon what we read? And yeah. then did this exercise yeah. and okay. mm -hmm. yeah. changed everything. Right, it did. It was worthwhile. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I had one of the one of the ones like I had involved pretty high up um, originally, but other ones they really they wanted to talk. See, I had that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had them rank high and had to and stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I went through like um, Cleveland. I went back through the RFPs that I just kind of refreshed me. Um, you know, and, and to me. They kind of stood out as far as what they were going to do, how they were going to do it. But when you start looking at um, the examples that they gave us for existing work, I mean, it was all large city types. Yeah. And I just don't, I, I, I like the proposal, but I, I would have some concerns about what they're actually. Yeah. yeah. I think the thing that left me wanting a little bit with the EPD was that that very first question, which to me, I think we included it, it should have been a layup. Like, what do you know about Bridgeville? Right. I was looking for, you have traffic problems, right. and you have a small budget with big city budget problems. And they they didn't give either one of those back. It was like they went to Baldwin, because I think they did the Baldwin concept, right? Yeah, so they did. it was like stuff they knew about, but uh, that, that wasn't a stretch question to me. Like, communicate that you know we're a small borough with limited resources, and traffic, traffic is one of our significant problems. To have that, be missing is a is a big swing to miss to me. I do have one question only because of I don't know if I have it. Um, there was somebody that answered questions in regards to our our post our pre previous plans, all right? Our previous zoning ordinances. And I don't know since I wasn't around in Bridgeville at the time. All right. I don't know. Have so those zoning ordinances been reviewed lately? And it was done. Uh, I was on planning commission. Okay. Yeah. That's when we All did right. the uh, overlay districts. Yep. Okay. So that's probably like 2010. No, 2012, okay. 2014. Okay. Later than that, I think it was more like 14. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I didn't have that history. That's what I was a little confused. Yeah. So I guess I'd just I'd ask the direct question, Dale. Do you do you want to fight to have EPD in here in the lens of the aggregate scores? No. Okay, so I'm going to go out of presentation mode just to be able to move some things around. Put EPD to the delta level, right? Can we agree? Again, just based on the group stock here, Evolve and likely Claybon probably are strong contenders, at least for presentations. Yes, I would think so. Yeah. All right, so it leaves us with uh, some tier twos, and I guess it comes down to how many folks they want to talk to. Um, just sorry to be flipping around on you guys, but Mac and HRG and Pannoni being the three that are outstanding. Mac and was number three. HRG number four, Pannoni number five. And what's the help close for they? How close would say HRG being a, a number three? Or yeah, you can. So I got the, the total. Sorry, you probably can't. Did you have printouts, Joe? Or just I just printed okay. one. You can share one. Yeah, they're very close. So number three, Mackin was a total of 128. HRG was number four, 126. So razor thin, and Pannoni was 124. So they're, I mean, you're talking about we scored a one, one to four. That's within margin of error for those three. Yeah. I am um, one of these. Let me. Uh,
HRG, the question I had, I don't know if anybody here can answer it, is part of their answer to, uh, so question four, what should we know about your firm's processes and approach that might differentiate yourself? They mentioned we have access to civil engineers, water and wastewater engineers. I did not interpret that as if like they don't do that in-house, but can partner with somebody to do that. It felt funny to me, so I just kind of dinged it as a question. Like I don't, I don't know how to take, we have access to. I think that's anybody else or something. Right. I, I, think, I think actually a lot of these companies just bring on talent yes. as they need it. I mean, even you evolved. either do you think you were an engineering firm right. and you brought right. on planners or right. you yeah. planners and no. engineers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Right. At least that was mine. Okay. And do you, Joe, any idea, like, does that represent additional fees if they say, well, to, to finish this comprehensive plan, we've got to bring in an engineer and it's going to be, or do we do this as a fixed fee? It's, it's here's fixed. the budget. Okay. Yeah. The okay. only one, though, that had any um, conversation to add ons was Evolve. Right. Okay. If you remember, their original yeah. proposal was, hey, we could do this right. as a base, but if you want this, it's extra. Yeah. And there was a lot of that that it kind of was like, we really need to flush that out. Right. Yeah. Because it, yeah. it could get really out of hand. Right. And they were the only one that I don't think that was their only flaw that yeah. I was concerned about. Right. I didn't I was sticking with um with HRG, I, I didn't this is a niche point, but they didn't mention anything about social by way of, you know, engendering some excitement in the community, like in today's right. day and age, that, that I would think would be a a given and then the question about how they would keep up with us on incremental progress, it was like, we'll give you regular updates as you request. Yeah. Right, uh, right. So yeah, I mean, I want somebody to be proactive. We're going to be a month fee. We're going to be a bi We're going to set that. Hey, we're going to be an hour. And then the people are going to be rigid and say, hey, it's going to be an hour and a half. We need to be. Right. But, hey, we're going to we plan on doing this. And then, as needed here, we can always. I mean, so at least, I mean, I look at this is going to be a big project. I like the one that okay. I like the ones that hey, we're going to have a, um, like a website where you can right. show yeah, the yeah. Right. progress. Right. I mean, this is going to be a big project that's going to consume a lot of time. All right? But still, I mean, if we need to be on informed on, it, on a monthly or a weekly basis, I'd rather do that and be informed and so that we would prepare for the next go around. So I like those schedules, especially, I mean, it's different with, with you, Tim. You have kids and you have a job and, you know, you have responsibilities that I don't. Right. So. There was a lot that referenced having updates for your planning commission meetings, and that's important. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, all that said, I had them at number three, so. See, I had, who's that? HRG. The you know, one thing, on uh, number six, the question number six, they were ones that really kind of laid out how many hours were expected of, you know, the, the subcommittee and, and uh, stakeholder committee meetings and, and that type of thing. So, collected thoughts, if we take these one at a time, HRG, and we can, you know, if we what's end up... The, what's the scores for uh, Evolve, uh, play on and EDP? Evolve was a total of 136. Claylon was 135. And what was the other one you're asking for? EDP was. EDP was 118. So if you look at that, you know, the first two of them are obviously boom, you know, they're right there. They can do one or two. Yeah. And then, but the, it, I mean, it, it comes down to you want to, you want to know interview two or right, five. Right. Four, four, four. Well if you do four, how do you where do you cross where do you draw the line? Because you know between you know you're looking at the school if you're if you're gonna go by the data, there's no there isn't a big margin of error between four or three and five. Yeah, and I think the data is just a this is directional, right? If right. there's nuances in here where we say this is 126, but I didn't like A and B, and right. that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Right, right. So. In all honesty, I think that, uh, I think that math should be number three. I mean, that's my opinion. I I like them. I like them, their presentation. Mm -hmm. And I like them too. It was. They were my, my original top three. 
give a little more thought on, on, yeah, on that I'm post. Just, just you know, I was just thinking, you know, I just looked at my notes here. Yep. Um, you know, they, they intertwined some of what we were looking for along with the MPC stuff, the MPC requirements. Um, you know, some of them said, some of the, some of the RFPs said, you know, we're going to follow the, the MPC, blah, blah, blah. Um, others, you know, said, well, you know, this is an update, we're going to do some of that, but we're also going to do, you know, long range, bigger, you know, look at, look at what the issues are, and I think, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm the only descendant, then so be it. I have no, you know, that's a that great thing already to formulate the other. Other other opportunities we put them in and ask right. them to comment specifically on the things that we took exception to. Like I'm just rereading it again. They're local, right? Yeah. So we got the advantage of somebody who's at least in the area. What's right? Very. And if, you, if you're going to do, if we can do that, we can do it in two evenings. Right. And have two and two. Yeah. Did anybody talk to Sophia? To the borough manager there, or township manager. Yeah, but he was he wrote the review, so he wasn't here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm okay putting them in and just saying we'll yeah. bag it out in two evenings. Everybody agreeable? Then I can send out the, the emails to the group saying, hey, let's let's pick some dates and put them here. Right. So. You'll get an email from me this week, and then I'll include the working group and include comments to those. Do we want to give any sort of grip notes to these folks and say, here's the questions that the commission had, and you got to make sure you cover them in your presentation? No. They want to watch the meeting that's here. I guess that's true. It's on yeah, the record now. So it's on the record. I'd like to know right. about your social capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think it's things we go. Pretty well with the act of transportation interviews. Yeah, yeah, fair point. We have a chance to ask the questions a lot. Right. Okay. Right. okay. Okay. So then two evenings, what time would you like to start? Six, five? Six would be six. my preference. Maybe. Six p.m. start. And then are we saying one hour for each? I think that makes yeah. And then we give 15 minutes between each one. It's like a buffer? Yeah. yeah. You won't. No, you're you're right. not going to get it. I'm not this. If we the active transportation plan was a perfect uh, perfect learning practice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Appreciate everybody taking the time to do that. I know it's um, like I said, it's maybe more engineering than necessary, but eyes wide open. Everybody had their chance. Right. And, yeah. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Tim. Yeah. yeah. Happy to. I know. All right. So. We have Evolve, Playbook, and Mac, and an HRG that will be interviewed over two nights. Two a night. And you're going to provide dates to us, is that it? I'll shoot out an email with some dates. Okay. July, August, and the latest. Okay. okay. That way we can come back August or September. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. We've been for August, so then okay. September Council has something.
Yes, thank you, Dr. Blasio. Um, comment is on the uh, upcoming uh, presentation from the engineer on the flood uh, improvements. I wanted to see if uh, the Planning Commission had thought at all about integrating some traffic uh, components with the flooding components. Um, I don't know anybody's thoughts on that, if that is uh, something you've looked at. Consolidating power. Well, the engineer brought forth three, three options uh, for mitigating the flooding uh, from all from McLaughlin Run Road uh, through the back channel of Chartier's Creek. Uh, that's what you were speaking of, and uh, Joe, that's what's coming at the next meeting, right? Yes. So he's going to be presenting that, and the focus of those three proposals was on mitigating flooding. It was a very concise proposal to mitigate flooding. Um, at the same time, the Baldwin Street Bower Hill corridor is subject to traffic issues. Um, it has it has multiple conditions: flooding, traffic, development. Um, and I was curious as to uh, the Planning Commission's uh, thoughts about bringing somebody else in to talk about the parking or not the uh, the traffic issues in that corridor. The traffic corridor goes from about Painters Run Road all the way up to, you know, Chargers Valley Shopping, the Port Authority bus garage is the, is the traffic corridor. Just like the flooding corridor is the back channel of Chargers Creek, all the way down to McLaughlin Run to the Borough Line in Dapper St. Clair. The traffic component of this is Bowery Hill Road going from Painters Run all the way up to Washington Pike. That's your traffic. The same way you have a... Yeah, this plan, uh, hmm? if I remember the plan as presented, it only included anything outside of the flood mitigation was to remedy uh, the Bower Hill right. in the, the, the problem area. Right, it was... But it, 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 was that, it, it had no traffic component to it at all. Just, but he did include other areas where... Yeah. He had the uh, ideas of, hey, let's do away with Baldwin Street Fridge, oh uh, put a roundabout in mm -hmm. here, uh, redirect the traffic to yes. Baldwin Street. That was looked at. But beyond mm -hmm. uh, okay. beyond McLaughlin Run Road to Union Street, no. No. And that was only and the and the traffic was was a result of the flood mitigation. If you chose one of the options you ended up with a cul-de-sac in Bowery or Baldwin Street. Right? Correct. Yes. I'm asking a different question. You have a, an excellent engineering firm doing great work in the hydraulics and in the flooding area. I'm, my question is, what is the Planning Commission's thoughts about bringing somebody in to look at the traffic component? Not asking the engineer who's doing the flood piece. And that's the comprehensive right. project. Well, that's the, the active transportation. Right, but, well, the active transportation is uh, walking and biking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a traffic component and not a, a comprehensive plan for the borough any more than any more than the flooding issue is a comprehensive plan for the flooding of the yeah. You know, it could be a component piece. It's same idea and I was I was curious to put it on the table. I don't know that you've got an answer at this point. So I have a question for you, Pat. I've sat on this committee for almost two and a half, three years now. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I've been exposed to at least four different plans. No I've been exposed to after the Baldwin Street flooding and the plan which virtually uh, made Baldwin Street into grid space. All right, so that was my first experience with flood mitigation in Bridgeville. And then from there we had several others. And then you you look further back and you see things from other engineering firms that designed or did something to to mitigate traffic, to avoid traffic. Has any, I mean, we already have five plans on the books, right? Five plans for? For traffic, resolving traffic, all right? I'm not aware of any plan that is well, on the books does, at the moment. What does, Fr what does Bob Fryer talk about all the time? No, he, is, he has dabbled, a, Fryer has dabbled a bit with Baldwin Bower Hill for just that narrow corridor. And he certainly hasn't brought that to a, True traffic plan. You know, these are ideas. Right. You know, 
But I'm not aware of any traffic study, traffic plan, you know, anything, any proposals for the corridor that goes through Baldwin Bower Hill. And again, again, that corridor, just like the flooding, the corridor for the traffic is painters run all the way up to the Let corridor. Me that, then. Let's just say traffic elimination of traffic jams in Bridgeville for both Bower Hill as well as Washington Avenue. And Joe, do you know of anyone uh, that have looked at Bower Hill? I know of a number, I north know. end, south end no. of Washington Avenue, but I don't know of anybody that's looked at Bower Hill. Okay. Right. Uh, still, I still, I think that well, that's in the comprehensive plan. I mean, from what everything that I've read from these our whole proposal was written, right? So that right, these well, concerns will be addressed. I would imagine that everything you're doing with the flooding is going to fold into the comprehensive plan. I can't imagine that you can have a comprehensive plan without bringing in what you're going to have next month. Correct. It's going to flow right into the comprehensive plan. No There's an awful yeah. lot of flooding <laughs> going on already. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're already, you're already doing it. <laughs> right. right. I mean, there's, it's right. ongoing, so I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but I mean, the, the, the traffic. What you're talking about, this corridor, mm -hmm. you're talking about, it's just one piece of the transportation traffic issue in Bridgeville. Yes. And I think, my personal opinion is, is if we're going to look at traffic in Bridgeville, we don't look at it piece by piece. It's something that we look at in its entirety. And I think that some of the stuff that's going to be coming out of the comprehensive plan will help give us some ideas as to how to approach or how to look at mm -hmm. um, where we want to go with traffic issues. Okay. Um, it's, you know, it, it, traffic is obviously one of the issues that this commission has been, been struggling with for years. And you know, by doing an update of the uh, comprehensive plan, it's our hope that it will give us some direction us here are some ideas of where to go with the traffic issues. And at that point in time, we can take that, and as a planning commission, we can look at that. We can decide that maybe, you know, we go to the, the council and say, hey, you know, maybe we need to do a traffic study. Maybe we need to hire a traffic engineer to do X, Y, Z. Well, that's the whole idea of a comprehensive plan, to plan for, e for comprehensively so that later you can come back and flush out details of what you're going to do specifically. All right, that's what it, but just as right now, next month, you're going to look at flooding issues, you're not suggesting that you wait for the comprehensive plan. You're going to look at those because that, that flooding issue has been in the first comprehensive, it's been in many comprehensive plans. It and it needs to be done. It's just building on what right. uh, Joe was saying. It's it, it, exactly. It's a lot the, You've been doing flooding pro projects. What I'm asking is, just as you're taking the flooding proposals at, and bringing them in from professionals, my question is, do you have any appetite to getting a professional to come and bring to you something on the traffic in that same portal? Well, if, if you were to, if I was to ask you, what would, outside of combining a Bower Hill and flood mitigation together. If you were to, if I was to ask you, what do you think the biggest traffic problem in Bridgeville is right now? What would it be? In, in Bridgeville? Correct. In uh, the biggest traffic problem in Bridgeville, I'd still say the South End, because it's not solved at this point. But, I mean, the solution is waiting for it. So right. the, the biggest unsolved traffic problem in Bridgeville, I would have to say is the north end of Washington Avenue. That's the biggest unsolved problem. And that north end piece, you know, flows into, uh, into the Bower Hill Road piece because a lot of the traffic that's coming up Bower Hill Road is going on that, is going north on Washington Avenue. You know, it, the, the, the reason I bring up the issue is because your flooding mitigation plans have a minor touch on the traffic. And so, uh, you know, maybe you guys would like to have a, have a traffic guy 
and have that resource to come in and give you some insight into, well, hey, wait, look, here's how you can, here's how you can integrate the two at the same time. And so I was wondering if you would, were interested in that resource. And, I mean, it yeah. sounds like a, a plan. I mean, it sounds like a good plan. I think it's a fair idea, and I'm certainly willing to entertain it. I, I don't naturally, when you start with Bower Hill, I don't naturally go to that. I, I think of two lanes becoming one coming down from the shopping center. Big problem. Now, probably not that easy to divorce, to your point, things coming from Bower Hill. But Bower Hill Baldwin is not where I go when I think about right. the most immediate plan to solve. Yeah. But if you're saying it's a component of what we can consider the north end, I, I can get on board with that. That, to me, is number one. Post what they're doing down there. You're open, maybe we can get something. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, Rich, please do you a question. Any more, um, what's going on with the infrastructure? Do we have any idea as to what's going on with federal government and when they anticipate that they're going to start losing money? I don't know. It's a virtual handshake for the time being. <laughs> I think a good priority though from the municipality is if we do come to an agreement on the flood plan, what option we think is best, I think it's advantageous that we if they do come up with this infrastructure bill, yeah, we we advocate for this because this is big money that this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity that it'd be silly for us to sit here and deliberate, deliberate, deliberate right. while this right. moves yeah. gone. So I think it's a priority from us to say all right, there's five options here of this flood plan. None of them are the most, we're all not gonna love everything. Right. But if we can come to an agreement, I, I think this is an opportunity where we at least use this plan to try to leverage funding. How do we come to that agreement though? Uh, you know, I think that's what it's gonna come down to is that, here's what you have is that you hear what the engineer proposes. Right. You make a recommendation that, hey, we like option one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And Hey, we make a recognition council that you explore getting funding for option three. Yeah. Okay. That's really that's it. Oh my God. It's going <laughs> to be a busy year. That's and that's really I yeah, think ideally yeah. that's where our goal is. Right. So if we keep an eye on the bill, and it, you know it looks like, then we need to start getting prepared. It would be my guess. Correct. That's why the engineer will be here next month. Okay. And then hopefully we could come because. He's coming back to you at, with answering the questions and what you wanted from the first time around. Right. So it, right. we, we can't just keep talking. We need to flush right. this out. Right. We know we're, it's not going to be 100%, but at least it will be a start that we can have something to push forward to at least try to lobby funding. Right. Okay. And then we can adapt as we go. Okay. We're going to have to. Right. Um, okay, great. All right. Any other? So, any yeah, just quickly, I think since we were together last time we got an official response from the state on our we don't want the tool booth here what's the here widely vacillating comments out there some people say it's a done deal and it's dead do you have any sort of formal feel for no no <clears throat> okay and the only one that responded uh to the borough other than the local senator and rep has been the secretary of transportation who responded to yeah. The yeah okay Timing associated to that, or nothing published? Uh, no, nothing published. It's an election year <laughs> for some of us. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Yeah, I was just going to, as you were talking about the infrastructure bill, yeah. that's one of the reasons I was suggesting mm -hmm. the transportation. It seems like you're interested. Yeah, I mean, you can always talk about it. Yeah. All right. No other comments, John? Anything? Sure. All right. I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. All right. Okay, great. Aye. 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 Oh, sorry. <laughs>